What's up, YouTube? Spawny here. Uh, and today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a uh, the final uh, match in round one of our uh, uh, Battle of the Rogues tournament. Uh, here we have Map Master uh, over on the blue side, and uh, NUS for Akamaru on the uh, red side. Uh, both very talented players, uh, so this should be a good match. Uh, I believe I know both of these players are playing. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so apparently we have a brick uh, from uh, Akamaru over here. Uh, so he's going to T-set and pass. T-set's never a good sign. Um, and uh, here we have Kwakimaru Crusader coming down. Um, so this is an interesting card. Uh, it's destroyed our uh, opponent sponsor by battling out a Kwakimaru card from your graveyard to your hand. So it allows you to recycle. 1900 attack though, it's not bad. Uh, so he's going to attack. So he's going to dump the iron core at the end phase uh, to uh, keep his Quarkamara monster alive. Uh, pass back to Arkmaro. Arkmaro will draw for turn. Uh, he still only has one backer on field and uh, he's go looking for his extra deck. Um, looking through his extra deck. Uh, set another monster in pass, so this must be a really bad hand for a Gladiator Beast. Uh, we're going to see a Tenki come out here. Uh, so he's going to go activate Tenki and get the search. Um, I don't really know, I'm not really familiar with the Quarkimero archetype, but uh, I'll see what happens. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't really know what all they have to search off Tenki. I'm not really familiar with this archetype. Okay, so uh, Urnite. Uh, let's check out this guy. Uh, so he has the standard Quarkmaru effect, and then he can reveal Iron Quarkmaru. Special level four. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, uh, so then he adds that back with uh, his. Uh, Kokimaru Crusader. Uh, activate Reckless Power. Uh, okay. That's pretty good. Uh, get rid of a Proving Ground. Uh, the bluff was real. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and summon the uh, Rear Knight he just uh, searched and then use Defect uh, to get out the. Uh, to summon a Kokimaru from his deck. Uh, it's really interesting that we're seeing Quakimaros. I did not expect to see that from uh, Matt Master over here. Uh, I, I was expecting something else. Uh, so he's going to get Quakimaro Wall. Uh, this, I remember this card from Rockstun. Uh, that was a fun deck. Um, uh, very, very, that was a very fun deck. I like that deck a lot. Um, so uh, he's going to make a Tiger King. Um, He's going to set a 10 key from the deck um, on an end phase and dump his uh, Iron Core Quaki Um uh, So, uh, pass back to Akamaru, uh, draw again, I hope to draw out of his brick. Um, Set one back row and a T set. Uh, not the greatest. Uh, that's and that's all it looks like he has is the T set. Um, looks like all he's got is the T set. So he's going to bypass his draw phase to add back his Iron Core of Quaki Maru. Uh, he has the set ten key, so he can get another search this turn, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, Matt Master looking like he's in a very strong position to. Maintain board control. Uh, let's see what he searches. Oh, he's going to search another Urnite. Uh, so looking like he's in a very good position here. Uh, so you can go for the Urnite and reveal the Iron Core. Special summon uh, a Kokimaru from the deck. Uh, putting four monsters on board. Um, and plus all of his Beast Warriors. Uh, so these two are both up by 200 from Tenkis. So he has a 22, a 24, and a 19 on board. So uh, he's looking like he's in a very strong position right now. 
Uh, we don't know what uh, Akamaru's back row is. It could be something like a Mirror Force. Uh, wouldn't be impossible for Gladiator Beast to be playing that card. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, so he's going to summon uh, what's this one? Uh, Kokimaru Overload. Uh, 1900 Rock uh, and Contribute Negate Summons. It's not bad. Um, it's a decent effect. Um, <laughs> and Akimaru's starting to realize the position he's in. A very bad position. Has a spell negation out and a uh, summon negation. <sighs> Excuse me, YouTube. I'm kind of tired right now. Um, so I apologize if I'm yawning a little bit. But uh, I'm trying to do the best I can. Um, uh, sure, about to get Mirror Forced. Hmm. So, uh, looking through his extra deck, uh, not sure what he's going to go for. But, uh, we will see. Um, nothing going on here in the watch chat. There's Mason Moon that we saw earlier. Uh, he lost his round one matchup. Um, I believe it was to, uh, I can't remember what he lost to. Uh, he played Shurnai, um, and I think he lost to, oh, he lost to Gishki. That's it. And there is the Mirror Force! Wow! Uh, that's very, very powerful. And this could be a game changer for Akamaru. Wiping out his opponent's board right now could be very game changing for him. Uh, leaving Matt Master with no monsters on board. Uh, he's already used his normal summon this turn. Uh, so, uh, back to Akimara here. Uh, he has a monster set, but we don't know exactly what that monster is. Uh, if it was something like a Laquari, uh, he'd be very, very... So it's a Bestiari. Uh, that's pretty powerful. Uh, so he can go and get Bestiari's effect, providing that Matt Master doesn't have a back row to deal with this. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and attack with the Bestiari. Uh, Matt Master is going to take the damage, uh, and uh, Lacor and uh, Bestiari is going to go ahead and probably more than likely get its effect off here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to see it shuffle back. Um, summon out a Darius, um, and uh, he's going here for the Darius. Uh, but a Solemn Strike appears. Um, that is very powerful. Uh, Matt Master having that back row uh, was very powerful to stop the Darius. Uh, the Darius play would have been very detrimental. Um, as he would have been able to bring back his Bestiari. Uh, and then make Geysaris uh, to pop two cards. Um, and then he could have even have tagged out of Geysaris again. So he's going to summon another Darius from his hand and set one back row. Um... My Master with four cards in hands, but still, it's going to be hard for Matt Master to recover from that Mirror Force. Uh, so he's going to summon uh, Kwaki Mirror Drago, and it's going to get bottomless. Uh, that's very crucial. Uh, wasting his normal, making essentially making him waste his normal summon. Matt Master's going to follow up with a Regeki, but uh, that shows that he doesn't really have anything else to go for. So he's going to stop the Regeki. He's going to blow up the board with a Regeki, and we're going to see a bear come out here, and he's going to go ahead and attack. Um, very interesting that he's playing um, uh, Bear. Uh, most people probably just play the three Tenki, but uh, I guess this is so he has a way to search out Tenki and uh, possibly uh, pop monsters too, or spells and traps. Oh, you know, the Bear is the uh, the spell, uh, the monster popper. Excuse me, Grill is the uh, spell trap popper. Uh, so he's going to set one back row and activate the ten key, searching out a bear. It's very interesting that he chose not to search out a uh, another. Um, uh, it's very interesting that he chose not to search out a gladiator beast monster. Uh, so we're going to see a pot of duality. He's going to reveal strike, call of the haunted, and uh, reckoned power. Um, so it looks like he's going to add call of the haunted. Not a bad play. Um, as uh, he does have quite a few monsters in his graveyard. He's going to summon the Drago. Um, well, that's pretty powerful. Uh, he's going to get Mirror Forest again, though. Um, that is very, very strong. Um, 
Set the background more than likely is the call of the haunted. Uh, so uh, Akamaru should know what this is. He's going to summon another bear. Uh, go ahead and attack. And more than likely, call the haunted is going to get activated here. Um, bringing back a Drago. Um, or uh, he can bring back uh, the uh, the Urnite. Uh, I think he has an Urnite in his graveyard too. Um, Um, if he has multiple things that are over 1,700 in his graveyard, uh, plus anything that's a Beast Warrior, will get the 200-point boost off of uh, the double 10 key. Uh, so he is going to activate the Call of the Haunted uh, to bring back the... Uh, I don't really think it... Okay, so he's going to target Overlord. Uh, I don't really think it matters, because uh, Akamaru can just 10 key bear pop... Um, uh, pop over whatever it is. He can just pop off the uh, the Kokimara monster, uh, leaving uh, Matt Master in a very bad position. Oh, and he has a lance uh, to get over it. Wow, that is very powerful. Um, so he has a lance to be able to swing over. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, so that puts this down to uh, making uh, 13... Uh, yeah, 1100. Uh, so uh, he's going to take 600 damage off that. And then he still has the other bear to kill to, to swing with. And he can get the bear effect. Um, uh, and I believe he can get double bear effect too. Um, yeah, because bear is not just once per turn. So uh, he can go ahead and swing with the 16, swing for uh, 1700. Um, Uh, yeah, okay, cool, they caught it. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and get another bear effect. Uh, probably search for a 10, uh, he's going to search for a Gaioku. Um, just deck then. Doesn't really need that right now, but, uh, that is a, uh, a decent card to search. Uh, he can go ahead and activate the Tenki here if he wanted to. Uh, go ahead and search out a Gladiator Beast Monster, or, uh, if he's playing, like, a Gorilla, maybe. That's something else he could search out. Um, he has options as to what he can do here. Um, we'll see. Uh, looking into his action deck, maybe thinking about going into a rank 4 play. Um, that wouldn't be the worst thing. Okay, so he's going to go for a rank 4 play. Um, see what happens there. Uh, he's going to make Cowboy. Uh, okay, so he's just going to go ahead and make Cowboy here. Deal the 800. Uh, basically put his opponent on a one-turn clock. Uh, basically saying, if you can't beat me next turn, I beat you. Um, not a bad strategy. So he has another bear index who's going to go ahead and activate the 10 key to search out the bear. Uh, we know his set card is a Goyoku. Matt Master has two cards to work with and only 300 life points. But he draws into the Diamond Core. Uh, and allowing him to add a Kokimaro card from his deck. Uh, and then this would also be better for the graveyard. Uh... Uh, well, and when it is banished from the graveyard, it prevents those Kokimaro monsters from being destroyed. Um, so he is good. That is a very good card. Uh, so he's going to search out an Urnite. Uh, more than likely, what he's going to do is he's going to reveal the Iron Core, special summon something, and either make something to get over the uh, the cowboy or just make Castell and Castell it back. The only problem is, though, is either way, I do believe that this game is going to go to Akamaru, uh, seeing as uh, he's going to have to make some sort of rank 4, and we do know he has a bear in his hand next turn, just send the 10 key and pop it, uh, and then go ahead and attack for game. Uh, so I do believe that this one will go to Akamaru, uh, but you never know, uh, I do know Mad Master is a very good player, uh, so uh, we could maybe see some shenanigans that I haven't thought about. Okay, what is this? What is this? Um, well, as far as I feel like someone's having the top five cards. Okay. Um, wow, okay, so that does allow him to play around the Tenki Bear. Um, uh, it does allow him to play around that, uh, seeing as he can just detach a material to avoid it dying. Um, that is very cool. 
Um, so there we go. I uh, did not see that coming. Looks like Akamaru didn't either. A uh, very nice play. Um, does allow him to avoid just being Tenki Bear popped. Uh, and that is very nice. Uh, also thinned his deck a little bit. I don't believe he's playing any Bujin cards, but uh, it could mill him stuff that he wants in the graveyard. Maybe more Diamond Cores, maybe uh, uh, Iron Core, um, things like that. Uh, okay, so back to Matt Master. Um, is, uh, Akamaru is going to uh, opt to set a back row and pass. He's going to go ahead and swing here for 2700 Um, because of the double 10 key. We have double 10 key on both sides. Uh, very interesting. Um, maybe we'll see Matt Master set a back row here. Um, uh, he's going to set double back rows. So I'm pretty sure that one of those should be the Iron Core. So he's going to go ahead and activate the Goyoku uh, to stun that back row. Uh, he's going to go ahead and act, summon the bear, uh, go ahead and pop that, make it detach once, um, set a back row and pass. Maybe that's another Mirror Force, uh, the third copy. Uh, we have seen, I think, two copies of Mirror Force come out of Akamaru. Uh, maybe that is the third copy of Mirror Force. Um... We will see, um, uh, maybe the back back row could also be something like maybe a D-Prison, um, a Fiendish Chain would be another option that would be very good in this situation, as then he could just next turn, uh, Fiendish Chain the monster in the next turn, pop it with his bear, um, and go ahead and, and more than likely attack for game, um, unless that, uh, unless that back row between the two tankies is something, because the other back row is stunned, um, so we will see. Uh, Matt Master looking like okay, and so Matt Master's gonna summon a Draco uh, or Drago. Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna see it swing over the bear and magic cylinder. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that card steals games. What's really funny about that is, is, talk, is uh, Akamara was talking to us about um, how he'd stolen so many games with Magic Cylinder because nobody expected it. Wow, um, that is powerful. Wow. <laughs> that is something. Uh, so Akamaru takes game one, coming back from behind. Um... With that Mirror Force, just completely changed the game around. Um, <laughs> no. Akamaru is like, uh, he, he's more of an older player, but uh, I did get him to come back to play in this. Uh, he's more of a casual player now. He doesn't really follow the game too much. So that's why he was like, Solid Strike, oh. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Uh, so Magic Cylinder 2 Pro, uh, pick him up now, guys. They're about to shoot up in price. Uh, <laughs> game 2, Map Master's going to get to start. Uh, so he's going to go for his 10 feet, search an Urnite. Um, uh, Pod Duality. So he's going to add Diamond Core, he reveals Thunder King Gucky, Diamond Core, and he's going to take the Diamond Core. Um, I don't really know this deck that well, so I can't really say. Um, I know Akamaru's deck a little bit better since I have played around with Glads before. Uh, so he's going to activate the Diamond Core, get a search. Um, uh, he's going to search for Overlord. Um, which is fine. Uh, this is Overlord negate the summit, and he's going to reveal the wall in his hand uh, to uh, save his Overlord. Uh, so Akbar is going to get his turn. Um. 
So this the the Overlord can negate a summon though. Um, that is something to note. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and uh, get a go for proving ground. Um, I don't think there's any gladiator beasts that can get over two thousand or nineteen hundred though. Excuse me, this does not get the boost off ten key. Um, Be interesting what he searches for. So he's gonna search for a Darius. Um, that's interesting. Uh, maybe he has a back row to deal with it, uh, or he might have another lance. Uh, I think. Okay, I think he has a lance. Uh, okay, so my master is like, oh, uh, uh, so maybe my master has something. Um, maybe he. Okay, so he's going to negate the summon. Uh, so he's going to negate the summon and destroy the Darius. Um, that's a good choice. Uh, does not let any of those uh, that gladiator beast um, shenanigans even start. Uh, so he's going to set three back row, uh, very strong in the backfield. Um, Um, <clears throat> so we're going to see the Urnite come out here. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Um, I believe he does have an Iron Core. Does he? Oh, okay, and so he's going to activate the Phoenix Change. Does not even play around with that. Um, very nice. Um, Matt Master is going to set one back row. Uh, maybe just one. Hmm. I like how much variety we've seen in this uh, this uh, tournament. Uh, we've only seen one repeat, and that was we saw Sure Nice twice, but they lost both times. So ha. Um. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, once to, uh, Gishki and the other to, uh, Speedroid Ghosto, um, which, uh, Luna, um, will be, uh, playing, uh, I think versus Plasmic Paladin, yes, um, and then the winner of this match will go on to play, um, Meh, uh, in the, uh, second round, uh, so Akamara is up one game, uh, Hmm. Uh, so we're going to see a Darius come out here. Uh, uh, so Akbar apparently fucked up. Uh, I think he just thought about the uh, Overlord. <laughs> uh, so Darius is going to come out. Uh, he's going to enter the damage step, lance over the Urnite. Uh, so his Darius will get to chip in for some damage. Uh, 500 points. Uh, uh, no, uh, yeah, 500 points because that does make him unaffected by the 10 key. And then he'll get the Darius effect. Uh, probably summon Best Yard, pop the Becru. Um, yeah. Uh, summon Best Yard, pop up, pop the back row. Um, hit, hits a call of the Haunted. Very nice. Um, set one more back row and pass. <laughs> This is so fun to watch. I love watching Gladiator Beast play. This deck was quite the force back in the day. Um, just summon, summon contact, uh, tag out, uh, and then back row. Uh, it was great. Uh, so he's going to summon a Crusader. Uh, damage step. <laughs> Another Lance? Um... Wow. Um, does he have another lance? And he does have a lance. Um, wow. Uh, that's that's pretty powerful. Uh, so he's going to tag out his best Yari here. Uh, probably maybe go for uh, a... Uh, maybe go just for the quarry for a beat stick. Um, no, so he's going to go for Darius. Uh, and he's gonna get back his, uh, his other Darius. 
uh, in the graveyard. Um, so now he has a rank four, and now he has a rank four X seed, uh, X seed play uh, option. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, so Matt Master is going to banish Iron Go. Whoa, Koki Mario Maximus, and a warning. Oh <laughs> uh, wow, um, that is powerful. Um, yeah, this would have been very nice if you would have been able to drop it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Matt Master is <laughs> getting, uh, getting a little bit of outskilled outplayed. Uh, <laughs> the warning was very powerful. Um, that very well may have won Akbar the game here. Um, I just have two cards in hand. If he had something like, uh, maybe like a Laquari or um, something of that sort, this would just be absolutely amazing for him. Um, our Laquari is being able to go for more damage, uh, and here uh, and here he could uh, he could if he has another Gladiator Beast. Even then, he could make a look. He could uh, tag out all three to put out Laquari uh, in his main phase two, along with two other Gladiator Beasts. And then uh, he could contact Fusion for... Uh, okay, so he has a bear. Uh, so that's not bad either. And Matt Ash is going to go ahead and scoop it up there. Uh, sees the writing on the wall. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, congratulations to Akamaru. Uh, he uh, will advance to round two. Uh, and I think he will play against um, Matt in round two. So I'll see you guys then. This concludes round one. And uh, congratulations to uh, Akamaru for winning. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Spawny out.